Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Animal Chronauts. And today, a Patreon sponsor video, which means you get an extra one. And this one is sent in by Darth Vendor. Thank you very, very much. Uh, um, now over the summer holidays, I can get back to doing Patreon scenarios, which is very exciting. So this is a continuation of uh, the previous ones I've been doing for Darth Vendor, where I'm a designer for the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And the Emperor has ordered a redesign of our light cruisers, something for the modern era. You know, we've just completed our design, um, complies with the Washington Naval Treaty, 10,000 tons, uh, six inch guns, and all the rest of it. But the Emperor has burst into the room demanding that we make them torpedo boats. Um, so, unfortunately, the Emperor is having none of our attempts to talk him out of this, and he wants light cruiser torpedo boats. Um, the New Guard design team has come up with a plan, um, however, so what we'll do is we'll make a light cruiser with the proper guns and the secondaries and all the rest of it, and then we'll take them off and we'll put on torpedoes and a search tower, um, so that the Emperor is perfectly happy, and then when he isn't paying attention, we can put the guns back on, basically. Um, and we have um, a test of this particular design, and um, here we have our light cruiser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a balanced modern light cruiser, um, and then take the guns off, <laughs> basically, um, and redesign it for this uh, torpedo boat uh, design requirement. Uh, I think for the Austro-Hungarians we would probably want long range for our light cruiser. Uh, we'll have it running on oil. Um, 38 smoke. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Uh, right there. There we go. Very nice. Now we'll go for the double geared steam turbines. Let's get hot to every diesel engine. Um, things like that. Now, speed-wise, we probably want to be going at a reasonable speed. Uh, an induced boiler gives us a speed of 31 knots, which I think is pretty acceptable. Uh, guns, if we're going 6-inch guns, probably would go something like this. And then secondary guns, two inch. Yeah, we'll go for some two inch guns, like so. Uh, so that's my gun layout. I think that will be absolutely fine for a light cruiser. Uh, and then we would have had some torpedoes on it anyway. Um, but uh, let's uh, build the rest of the ship out. Anti flooding. We want at least a double bottom hull. We want some sonar and a rangefinder. Ooh, we could fit an RDF. Very fancy. Auto loaders. Electro hydro turrets is going to be a really nice light cruiser that I'm not going to get to use. Uh, let's go TNT. Super heavy. 1% uh, flash fire chance is absolutely fine. Um, probably go maximum bulkheads as well. Yeah, lovely. Uh, armor, it'd be nice to armor up against our own guns. So you'd want a nine inch belt. Oh, six. <laughs> of course, there's a maximum on a light cruiser. And then at least, actually, the deck's probably fine at 1.5. All over. Oops. Turrets at six, uh, turret tops at 1.5, calling down to six, and the secondary guns, so three, something like that. Uh, we could probably have very long range with that. Yes, we can. Okay, so now what I need to do is take off the guns. So um, what we're going to do is Remove the guns as required. And we're going to mount 
quad torpedo launchers, four and aft, and I probably would have had a couple here anyway. Uh, in terms of the torps, we're going to go big and we're going to go fast. And we're going to go increased. No, we're not. Going overweight if I do that. I do need at least one main gun. We're just going to stick on um, the uh, stick on a four inch four and a half like that, just so that we do meet the requirement. Uh, really not go for increased torps. Not quite. Um, Hmm. It would be nice to have increased torps. It would definitely fit the Emperor's brief. What would he not mind about us? Tell you what, we'll go down to advanced hydraulic turrets. Probably let us carry more. Almost. Yeah, if we go to uh, semi auto loaders, that's absolutely fine. Well, there we go. The uh, Volklabruck class uh, currently. Uh, I hope it meets with the Emperor's approval. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be a tough one to use. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, the Emperor's light cruiser. Torpedo boat, I mean, uh, thing. Well, I hope he's happy with it. Let's let's see how it does. Uh, it certainly will arm it. <laughs> oh my word. Torpedo's off. Right. Let's go find the enemy. Uh, plan, basically, is just to torp the light cruiser uh, as best I can. And then uh, I should be able to just deal with the transports using the 2-inch guns and things. There is the enemy light cruiser. Let's charge in. I mean, the four inch gun is trying, but you know, single four inch gun is not going to do very much. But uh, it's a it's a torpedo target designator. That that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> But uh, I'm kind of hoping that the two inch guns will do most of the work. Is that actually the light cruiser out front? It is good. That's a fast light cruiser they've got. That could be annoying. Firing torpedoes at us. Damaged an engine. So I range to target 1.8. I want to get within a kilometre before I fire. If we could get uh, engine damage to stick, that would be nice. Damaging casements and funnels is, is fine, I suppose. But I'd like to put some actual damage on. I think they're close enough. Fire when ready. Quad launches away. And some jewels. Should do. Torpedoes off. Uh, have they spotted them? I'm assuming they have. They're turning anyway. Mm, not enough. With their engines out. Three hits and sunk. Very, very sunk. Lovely. Well, uh, tell you what, weapons free. Let's uh, go deal with these transports. Well, they sink. They sink very quickly uh, under two-inch gunfire. But uh, we'll let them, uh, the crew, fire the torpedoes at will. Yeah, they're just burning down in short order. Yep, 
Hey, Torps as well. Probably gonna miss. <laughs> Shows you how bad I am with torpedoes. Might hit something in the back. It's another one down. Hey, there we go. Top it. Not taken any damage really so far. Certainly proving to be effective. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's a good or a bad thing, uh, considering the uh, Emperor's uh, probably going to insist on this being a design feature going forward. Thing just shreds transports at this kind of range. Look at that. <laughs> just two inch gunfire, absolutely ruining them. Don't think the Riga's going to last very long, even though it does have a four inch gun. Down it goes. Oh no, it was the uh, Oxlov. Okay, there's one left. Let's go, uh, go get it. This thing does manoeuvre quite well. Torps loaded. Yeah, there we go. Keep the Emperor happy. And some more. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Glorious victory. There we go. Uh, nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, weird design, but uh, it kind of worked. Still think I would have preferred the one with the six inch guns, but uh, that is what the Emperor requested. Torpedoes everywhere. And uh, successful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you want to become a patron, there is a link in the video description. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Treadnoughts. Bye bye.